there is one thing we have learned from the Fox Dominion lawsuit. It is this. What Fox does on air and what Fox employees think and say off air, well, those are not always in sync. And tonight we have exclusive newly released audio that shows that when it came to the big lie itself, even the central players knew there was no there there. But let me back up. A few weeks ago, a former senior producer of Tucker Carlson's show, who used to be a senior producer for Fox News host Maria Bartiromo's show, a woman by the name of Abby Grossberg, she sued Fox News. Essentially, Ms. Grossberg believed she was being set up as the scapegoat or the fall guy in the gigantic Fox Dominion defamation lawsuit. Grossberg claims that Fox attorneys coerced, intimidated, and misinformed her to influence her deposition before Dominion lawyers last year. And so now, former Fox News producer Abby Grossberg is expected to be a witness for Dominion. And man, she has the receipts. It turns out that Abby Grossberg had been recording, using an app on her phone, discussions between Bartiromo and key figures in this case. Figures like Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani and Trump campaign officials themselves. Grossberg told Fox's lawyer she had these types of recordings. She was pretty upfront about that, but Fox never handed them over to Dominion during the discovery process. So today, Abby Grossberg's legal team played parts of two of those recordings in court. And after hearing them, the judge decided to sanction Fox News for withholding evidence. So if Dominion wants to, Dominion could conduct more depositions on Fox News's dime. Judge's orders. Now, we don't know if Dominion is actually going to do that, but these tapes were explosive enough that the judge literally sanctioned Fox News for not sharing them. Abby Grossberg and her legal team have let us have these recordings tonight. So without further ado, this is Rudy Giuliani and Fox News host Maria Bartiromo talking off air on November 8th, 2020. Off air, Mr. Giuliani seems pretty candid about the fact that he really has no evidence that there is anything wrong with the Dominion voting machines. I'm going to be asking you as, for as much evidence as you can tell us about these lawsuits. Whatever you can tell us in terms of sure. evidence would be really helpful. Okay, great. I can tell you exactly what we have. Perfect. And um, what about this software, this Dominion software? Uh, that's uh, that's a little harder really troubling. to tell you right. It's being, it's anal being analyzed right now. I mean, there are a couple okay. of races that have been reversed because uh, the Democrat was triple counted, two, two already in Michigan. Now, whether that applies for the whole state or not, I, I can't tell you yet. This Dominion software, does Nancy Pelosi have an interest in it? I, yeah, I've read that. I, don't, I, I can't prove that yet. Okay. Can't prove that. That was Rudy Giuliani, the face of the big lie privately downplaying that he knew anything about Dominion voting machines. And then there is this conversation from December 5th, 2020. This is a call between Maria Bartiromo and Trump campaign officials themselves. Are any of the machines, I know it was on War Room the other day with Steve Bannon, have any of the machines been looked at? He had said that one was looked at in Georgia. Uh... I'd have to check on that in terms of Georgia. I know during the audit they did check on those machines. Um, they're really, you know, the, the, if we just go off the record for one sec here. Yeah, it should of course. Um, I, I, want, I don't want us to but, say it if it's not. That's why we're yeah, checking. I would, I would, I would, I think they have looked at the machines. Um, when, the, when the Secretary of State did its audit, uh, there, there was a lot of, I think a fair bit of looking at the machines. Um, you know, the audit came in pretty darn close to what the machine count was with the receipts. So, you know, I don't know the outcome of those, but our understanding, again, this is what the Secretary of State's office, was that there weren't any physical issues with machines on those inspections. Again, that was on December 5th, 2020. Trump campaign officials saying there weren't any physical issues with Dominion voting machines. There's a fair bit of looking at those machines, Ms. Bartiromo, but all the figures were pretty darn close to what they were supposed to be. The whole voting machines conspiracy, according to the Trump officials, kind of a nothing burger. Or at least that was what they said in private. Because here was Trump on the same day, 
December 5th, 2020. In one Michigan county using Dominion voting systems, nearly 6,000 votes were discovered that were wrongly switched from Trump to Biden. They called it a glitch. You know a glitch? That's like the machine broke. Numerous times we found glitches, and every single time the glitch went 100 percent to Biden and no percent to Trump. The same systems are used in 30 states. Believe me, this is something we're going to do because we can't allow it to happen. And complete overhaul of our election security systems, because right now, Dominion is a joke, okay? Not a very funny joke. It's a disgrace that in 2020, no state in America even makes any real attempt to verify that those who cast ballots by mail are eligible and lawfully registered voters. The evidence of fraud is overwhelming. One thing in public, another thing entirely in private. And this is no minor detail. This is the core of the big lie. Here is a taste of how Fox News continued to cover Dominion voting systems after that December 5th phone call. We're looking into the Dominion voting machines with this new forensic examination. Mm -hmm. So this is an investigation that has taken a few weeks. It'll take time. But what we have now is such significant and overwhelming evidence that there is voter fraud. There is uh, a lot of irregularities and just complete disregard for the laws in these states. Now, we get to we get to Detroit and we have a truck that pulled in at 430 in the morning with 100,000 votes. And we have a machine, the Dominion machine, that's as filled with holes as Swiss cheese and uh, was developed to steal elections and being used in the states that are involved. So there's a lot that's going to come out here over the next month or so. Tens of thousands of ballots were being illegally dropped. Uh, the machines are the worst. Uh, Dominion, Dominion, nobody even knows who owns it. Uh, these machines are controlling our country. So it was a rigged election. It was a sh it was a really a, a sham and a shame. One thing in public, another thing in private. Again, I do not know if Dominion will choose to do another round of depositions because of this. The trial is slated to start Monday, so more depositions could mean delaying that trial. But even if Dominion chooses not to, these recordings sound fairly damning in terms of what they do to undercut the big lie. Rudy Giuliani, Trump's own campaign officials, the core of that whole conspiracy is just nothing. 